All right. Good morning, everybody. This is Rick from Rick's Outdoor Living. Oh, got it right that time. Okay. This is a nice sunny day here in Jacksonville, Florida. Don't know what time it is right now. But I'll show you the little sunny day out here. Uh, nice sunny day. It's a little overcast, but it's okay. Um, this is Bella. Everybody know Bella. Just got her. And just put the little, I don't know if y'all seen this little sticker I got right here. Love, laugh, love. I mean, live, love, live, laugh, love. That doesn't work. Low aim fry. I'm quite sure a lot of you guys know what that means. Okay, that's what's that's the way I'm feeling. All right, always did. But anyway, uh, today what I'm doing, I am rebuilding my fireworks stand that I built two years ago. Okay, we have fireworks two years ago. Well, two years ago, I built a fireworks stand, and um, the fireworks on there did work, worked out pretty good. Okay, um, just one of the fireworks, I guess it was kind of strong, just blew the side off, dude, knocked the side off a little bit, but it had a little wear and tear, so I'm rebuilding. Okay. Um, make it a little strong so let me show you what i'm working with here um this is some of the tools that i'm working with right here you know uh, my little black and decker workmate this thing works out pretty good i don't cut many a wood on with this thing here you know stabilize it but this is my stand right here like i said last year or two years ago like i said when i first used it uh, worked out pretty good i know you guys probably saying hey it's wood yeah, it worked out okay, because usually what I did, what I did first, I wet it down with some water. Then I got some um, tin over there in between that creeper. For those of you who know what a creeper is, see the creeper? And then there's a, a roll of tin that I got that I line the top with so that it don't catch a fire. Okay, so what I'm having is I got a shelf right here, right there. And there's going to be another shelf to go across there. Okay, and a bolt. This is my rocket launcher here. Got one, got two of those actually. One here, one right there. Oh, uh, just just let me say this. Um, I don't own the rights to this music here, so Facebook, whoever, don't cut me off or mute me. Okay, so everybody know that. Anyway, like I said, I had to reinforce around the bottom. So, it did, so it's did pretty good. And I got one more up under there. Okay, now. This is for my 4th of July, 4th of July, fireworks, sparkly, spectacular, extravaganza. Okay, can you say that three times fast? Fireworks, sparkly, spectacular, extravaganza. I probably didn't say it in the same order, but you get the gist. Okay, so, oh, God, let me tell you guys about this. So all you DIY guys and, you know, who like working with tools, I just got, well, I had this for a little bit. I bought, actually bought it. For my wife Kim, but uh, she never used it, so I um, broke it out the box today. I'm gonna use it today. And but let me tell you this though, it took me 30, 45 minutes to learn how to load the dag on nails into the gun. Okay, never worked with a nail gun before. I always used the hammer and the gun. Okay, but learn how to use it today. So. Got the tools, pretty good tools. Got it from Lowe's, you know. Most of my stuff I do, I got it here from Lowe's. Lowe's is a good store for you guys who wanna, uh, who wanna get some tools. Not because I used to work there, but it does have some good stuff and, and some nice sales and deals on some good stuff, okay? So, let me show you. That's some of my fireworks right there. Can't show you everything because some of it's heating, but anyway, there we go. Then I'm gonna hook it up to my cobalt air compressor right there turn that chunky on and then let it uh do what it do then i'm gonna throw these uh nails in here reinforce it a little more i might paint it <clears throat> i don't know but it's nighttime so nobody gonna really be paying attention to the paint because <laughs> they will be paying attention to them fireworks that be coming up from out of this thing here because let me tell you this is some good crap boy when i throw the fireworks in there again my fourth of july Fireworks, sparkly, spectacular, extravaganza. Now, you ask me to say that again, I probably won't say it in the same order, but my firework, 4th of July, fireworks, sparkly, spectacular, extravaganza. Damn, I think I got it. Anyway, so, again, this is the sun. 
So let me tell you, for all you guys out there um, on the street, you guys be safe. Love you, man. Love you, women. All y'all be good. Make sure you glove up, uh, masked up, keep the hands clean, you know. Stay safe, all right? Be careful, deuces. Uh, once I'm done with this thing here, I'll post another video on my Rick's Outdoor Living YouTube page. So, pay attention, stay tuned. Um, what to say, hit the button to subscribe and punch that bell so you get the ding ding when something come on. Yeah, however that works. Anyway, deuces, take care. Y'all be safe. All right, take care.